Hey guys, C Drama Innovation here. Welcome back to a new C Drama Updates video. Let's first start off with um, the drama stuff and then we'll slowly get into the celebrity news and what's been happening with Yuan Bing Yan. There's a lot of confusion around that. And it's probably because um, for the most part, they're taking the radio silent route with that at the moment. Um, but we'll get into that in a little bit. First off, let's talk about Yuku's modern workplace romance drama that premiered on July 8th. This is called To Be a Brave One, starring Deng Jiajia and Darren Chen. This is a business romance drama about um, two people that had a childhood connection that meet later on after the female lead wakes up from a coma, realizing that she was betrayed by the one she loves and tries to start all over again and basically go the business route of things. Um, based off of very early reviews, we're getting some comparisons to Love the Way You Are. Fun fact is that the female actress has been um, in a couple of dramas recently and everyone is praising her for her youthful looks. She looks like she's in her 20s, but in fact, she is 39. Moving on, we have the first photos and posters for Fox Spirit Matchmaker. So recently we had them um, basically do that whole paparazzi thing where they told them to basically don't take photos of us, don't leak it, etc which makes sense. Everybody is um, super excited for this though. So I guess they did decide to release it early, which is great. I thought the posters look great. Um, really like that they chose the fiery red aesthetic. Cannot wait until we get some couple posters later on. This will have a star studded cast and it's probably going to be their biggest project. It's an Aichi and Tencent collaboration. And we'll come back to this a little bit in the Yuan Bing Yan portion since there is some updates on the Fox Spirit Matchmaker supporting cast. We also have Tencent's new coming of age drama called Young Babylon starring Yang Sa Yu and Ho Ming Hao. They just recently shared photos of them in the booting ceremony. As much as I really wish this production the best, personally, I really like Neo and I want to see him in something a little bit different. I think I only watched like two dramas of his um, when we were young and then also um, Psych Hunter. At least Psych Hunter was a little bit more interesting even though it wasn't his best work. Next is the Aichi modern romance drama called Road Home starring Seven Tan and Jing Bo Ran. They recently wrapped filming. Kenny Lin also shared some behind the scenes photos for The Legend of Shen Li, so we finally get to see him in costume on set. And honestly, it's very standard that white and the hair, it looks basically like princess agents. Either way, I haven't been able to enjoy some of his dramas recently, um, so hoping that this is the one for me. Definitely will be tuning in. And also, I hope that they'll be releasing some behind-the-scenes photos of Zhao Liying as well soon. Here we meet again, also wrapped up. This is a drama starring Zhang Minbin and Wu Qian. This one was kept under wraps and was low-key for a while, but um, he expressed that it's been a very difficult time since they were caught in that Shanghai lockdown. And a drama that's supposed to take... Um, maybe like three months max to film, actually was closer to seven months. He thanked all the frontline workers and everybody on the team and the cast members as well for making it as smooth as possible despite all of the unfortunate incidents and really scary times. A new campus romance is announced and it's starring Song Yi Ren and Guo Jiafen. It's called Dear Miss Hypatia. There's also an official announcement of Street Dance of China returning for season 5 with Han Gang, Wang Yibo, Xin Liu, and Nathan Lee as the four main captains. There were some speculations that Yibo would only be doing like a special appearance on only one or two episodes, but it seems that's not the case. I don't know whether or not it's a last minute decision or they really persuaded him behind the scenes but fans are happy to see him come back. This show is quite intense. I don't really talk about 
like variety shows and stuff much but it's one of the only shows that i did watch like the previous two seasons of and thoroughly enjoyed i thought the episodes are a little bit longer but since there's just so many contestants that fly in from all parts of the world and honestly the budget is so big for this show i don't know too much about dancing but after watching it like the respect and appreciation, the hard work and creativity behind every single like dance move and stuff is so interesting. So if you have an interest in it, do check it out. Last episode, we talked about Meng Ziyi, how she was bullied basically, and she finally took steps of deleting the untamed off of her bio of her past works. So she basically rejected this and it's probably because the fans have been so toxic and it's been years after that drama has aired and she's still being cyberbullied. So she's been going up and down with her mental health and it's because lots of people are accusing her that she kind of bought out the production company and made script changes to be the leading lady and to have more screen time, boosting her popularity, etc. When she said that that's not true at all and she'd rather just pretend that that whole thing didn't happen so she decided to take that off of her list of dramas that she's been in okay let's get into the yuan bingyan case so it's been reported on july 3rd that in 2019 to 2020 a company under yuan bingyan's name where she was a major shareholder and even held like basically almost executive ceo decision making power was acting like a shell company and evaded taxes so her studio issued an apology for the company's tax evasion case and stated that they are cooperating with investigations and paid the old taxes and fines in full in a timely manner she said that she'll be taking time off to self-reflect but i want to note that this is not a personal apology and the reason why is um this is going to be pertinent later on to the c netizens and mostly internet reaction and this is because the denglin case just happened um, a couple months ago and people are still angry about how fast um, he got canceled and she basically didn't have too much um, happen to her there have been people that came out and cut ties with her basically dior was one of them and i think mango tv also said they'll be editing her out of a couple of dramas and episodes or variety shows that she took part in so unfortunately this will probably mean love never fails will not be airing anytime soon maybe not at all but the reason why cnets are so angry is because this is the second time that she has been fined you would think that the first time you would learn your lesson, especially as a public figure. CNETs are even angrier because they feel that she does not have any remorse. The fact that once it got found out, she just kind of abandoned all responsibility by removing herself from associating with the company and blaming it on the entire company. Well, this is not the first time that it happened. Is raising like suspicion and red flags on the internet. And to make it clear, um, just in case I get into legal trouble for making this video. Um, these are all quite popular comments on Weibo itself about the issue and on social media. I'm simply just the messenger and restating it for the purpose of reporting news in a cohesive manner. And she continued to be kind of silent on this matter and people are kind of questioning what's happening behind the scenes why is it so different with deng Lin or fan Bing Bing? is it the amount because this is like way less than those celebrities there's been massive outrage and protests because they want to boycott fox spirit matchmaker if she's going to be in it and recently do ban has officially removed and replaced yuan bing yan's supporting cast member role on the drama to Bambi Zhu. So due to this difference between her, um, Deng Lin, Fan Bing Bing, we honestly don't have all the facts, but a lot of people are thinking that Bing Yan may have high ties to some sort of authority or officials because usually right away you would get denounced um, and it's been like several of days. I wanted to wait it out and see if there's going to be any new information that comes up 
or official statement saying that i don't know she's um blacklisted or they don't support this type of behavior etc since tax evasion is a crime and a very serious one in china and in other parts of the world people actually go to jail for it and allegedly there are reports saying that prior to stepping down from her position from the company she wasn't just any major shareholder she basically had like over 90 percent which made her like the owner and because of this a lot of people are digging up her past there's recorded images and videos of her doing questionable things and I'll link the little clip down below. So there's this report of a string of incidents that were caught on video of how she treats her assistants in a superior manner and really disrespects them. There's this trending um, video of her deliberately throwing clothes on the ground for her assistant to pick up instead of handing it to her directly. And the assistant was literally right there beside her. This made many CNETs comment that she is basically getting away because she has some rich privilege and it seems like she has a pattern of treating people like they're less than her i don't know this is just a very messy case for the most part people are more talking about not the whole tax evasion incident but saying that with repeated evasion whether or not it's like a big sum or not she knows exactly what she's doing and she has a lack of sincerity let's end things off on a high note and talk about something else so a recent fact came out about love like the galaxy that the big fire during the lantern festival is a real one and not special effects the production team worked day and night for three days to film that and it actually was intentionally built to be burned because they were not allowed to actually have a real fire in the studio but for that fire effect to make it look realistic they went out of their way to build this structure that basically had thin walls and could catch on fire easily i haven't watched too many episodes of love like the galaxy but for sure i'll be binging it whenever i do have time and posting a first impressions on it I do think that the quality of the drama is beautiful in terms of prop cinematography. They definitely did put their first foot forward. And I think I remember a tweet saying that the opening song alone was very authentic to the original novel. And fans of the novel were able to point out which scene was which. So that's so cool that they would pay respect to the original novel and readers in sort of like an Easter egg way. What are your thoughts on the drama so far? And let me know your thoughts on any of the drama news or anything we talked about. I hope this video doesn't get demonetized and if it's her team or whoever that controls it because it happened to me a couple times with um, specifically Chris Wu. I'm just saying it looks even more suspicious so don't do it. But if you have to then I'll have to take this video down probably crop edit it out whatever. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.